Dr. Tom Frieden, Director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is here now talking about the main topic of the APHA meeting and that is becoming the healthiest nation in one generation. A huge challenge. What do you think are the first steps to try to achieve that goal? To improve health dramatically in this country, we've got to work at every level. We've got to improve the socioeconomic status and opportunities of people throughout society. We have to make the default values healthier so that if you just go with the flow, you're not going to grow up addicted to any substance. You're not going to be overweight or malnourished in any way. You're not going to have experienced violence. And you won't have an infection that will plague you potentially for the rest of your life. So we have to make sure that every child grows up able to reach their full potential and we really have to improve the quality of health care in improving outcomes. Right now, we've begun to change from paying for volume to paying for value, but we have much further to go. One of the biggest concerns in this country is the rising opioid addiction. Prescription drugs are fueling that. How do we address it? Well, first off, we have to have better prescribing for pain. There's way too much use of opiates for chronic non-cancer pain. There are many non-opiate and non-medication modalities that are not just as effective, but potentially more effective than prescription opiates. We also have to improve prescribing for addiction. Addiction is under-recognized and under-treated in our society, and we need to expand the opportunities for effective treatment. Beyond all that, we also have to look at the underlying factors, such as socioeconomic stress, that are contributing to driving and making it more difficult to recover from addiction. As you look back at your time with the CDC, what do you think has been your greatest success? And what are the issues that we really need to continue to focus on? I've really focused on trying to help CDC be stronger and more effective. And that means, first, making sure that we have the data we need to provide it to the people who make the decisions at the right time so we make the best decisions. So surveillance is still the core of public health. Second, strengthening the state and local and tribal and territorial levels, because that's where the rubber hits the road. That's where action has to happen. Third, improving our impact in global health. And whether it's Ebola or Zika or AIDS or TB or malaria, there are critically important issues that require us to engage with the world. Fourth is to really make a difference on the policy agenda, including engaging with the healthcare system, CMS, Medicaid programs throughout the states. There's so much money and so much effort going into healthcare, we should get much more value from it. And finally, making sure that we get the most health impact we possibly can through programs like Winnable Battles, where we've made major progress reducing teen pregnancy with many, many partners involved, uh, reducing healthcare associated infections, again, many partners involved, and taking on big challenges like the Million Hearts Initiative to try to prevent a million heart attacks and strokes over a five year period. Going forward, some of these same themes are going to be critically important. Strengthening the front lines, whether it's in this country or around the world, improving the quality of healthcare in terms of outcomes, and making sure that we're always one step ahead of the next pathogen or the next health threat, and we're driving toward a society in which everyone can reach their full potential, and our healthcare system is not only providing care for people who are ill, but making sure that we can confront the world with the best possible health status. CDC Director Dr. Tom Frieden, thank you for being here. Thank you.